Hello and welcome to this fresh episode of Tech Quantum. We are back again with a new topic with Rachit Gurg. Hi Parish, hello viewers. Hope you all are doing well. So Rachit, today's question is that do you have a framework in finance and operations wherein you can set up or you can export or extract your configuration from one environment and import it in another environment? Uh, the reason why I'm asking, for example, while you're implementing finance and operations, so, uh, you know, once your, you know, user acceptance testing is done, you're all good with the configurations. So can I bulk export my configurations and put it into my production environment before I go live? So if you can brief about that, that would be really great. Sure, Parish. I'll try to answer that. Although there are various ways to manage configurations, but what I would like to talk about in this video is the capabilities provided by data management platform. So data management platform, provides data entities which can be exported and imported but data entity is a very granular level when it comes to managing configurations because for example in a module of gl you might have to configure 10 different forms to say that hey my gl configuration is done and if you have to export and import every individual entity it can be a cumbersome task so data management framework provides a capability of data project. Now data projects allows you to club multiple data entities into one data project and export them in one go. Now in order to ease or in order to give a kickstart to the implementation partners, Microsoft has actually released some default data templates of the application. I'll quickly uh, show you how that looks, Parish. So I am in finance and operations and I'll go to data management workspace. So what you see here is a data management uh, workspace. And if you go to templates, this is the place where you can actually find the standard data templates published by Microsoft. In order to load the default templates, you can click on load default templates. And here you can see the templates which are grouped by the business area. So here you see we have templates for general ledger module, accounts receivable module, and many more. You can pick a particular template and click on load selected. So for example, if I want to pick fixed assets in this case, I'll just pick fixed asset and say load selected. What it does is it creates that template in your application and it brings back all the data entities which make up that particular module so if you see here it has brought all the data entities which serve as a base template here for me to export my fixed asset data now in these entities there are different fields which define how they will be exported we'll uh, we are not going into too detail here uh, but these templates basically serve as a uh, base to start creating your export projects. So what you can do is you can actually go to export and you can say, uh, I want to export my fixed asset data using the template. And here you can select the template. So what happens is all your fixed asset data has now been brought into one data export project and you can export import this data export project and which will export data of all these tables now it may sound simple now but in reality it's not that easy so during implementation you actually have to keep an eye on your configuration workbooks and identify which entities are part of that of your configuration because it depends on the project on which uh, on which functionalities you are enabling which parameters you are defining but these templates serve you as a jump starter kit you can modify these templates you can move things up and down you can add your own new custom tables in these templates and this basically helps you to facilitate uh, exporting data from one environment and importing into another environment so I hope that answers it at a high level, Parish. Thank you, Rajit. That was a really a good overview. Uh, my following question is that, is there a, some kind of intelligence or let's say what's the delta behind it where, you know, if you have exported a configuration, can the system consider, okay, this was the last export and I have to export the ones which are new. Is there some kind of, uh, you know, logic behind that? Yes. 
So Dynamics 365 FNO data entities support change tracking behavior. So with change tracking, uh, that's how system tracks, uh, keeps a track of new changes which users have done. So based on the changes which have done after your last export, if your change tracking is enabled on your entity and you run the export next time, it will only give you that delta from the previous run. So that capability does exist for Ish. Yeah. Thank you very much, Rachit. Uh... Uh, that was a really good overview and uh, I was really happy to see that the framework is available and especially uh, our customers would be happy who are going to use or are using Phenom to see that this functionality exists. So we'll be happy that, you know, um, if you would like a demo uh, out of it, please do request us and we will really uh, try to create a demo if there are enough comments. So uh, we'll try to wrap up this video for now. I hope you have got a good overview. Please keep watching Tech Quantum and especially this channel. Share your comments, share the video with your friends and please subscribe to the channel. So bye for now. Thank you viewers. Bye for now. Stay safe.